In a world where a bunch of rich people dress up in fancy clothes to give each other trophies, these eight films will compete for Hollywood's highest honor, being the answer to the question, what did win the Oscar last year? The honest nominees for Best Picture are... From Adam McKay, the guy who brought you Talladega Nights, Step Brothers, and Anchorman 2, comes a sobering look at the financial crisis of 2008? Wait, what? So Wall Street crashes the economy for profit and got away with it? I would be so outraged right now if I understood what the hell was going on. Whenever you hear subprime, think Sorry, Margot Robbie. I appreciate that you're in a bathtub and all, but I still don't get it. No money, mo problems. Gear up for the most badass nominee for Best Picture since ever? As George Miller's brutal world blurs the line between apocalyptic madness and Australian people being Australian. He's a crazy smeg who eats schlanger. Hey, it's nominated for Best Picture, not Best Screenplay, all right? Furiosa Road, featuring Mad Max. Deep in the woods of North Dakota, revenge is a dish best served cold. Like, so cold you have to sleep inside a horse. But we really want to do an actual honest trailer for this movie. And we don't have the footage yet. So we're saving our best jokes for later. Long story short, Leo grunts his way to an Oscar. Frozen. Journey back to a time when news was printed on paper and delivered to your home for a movie that really nails the look and feel of Boston that Bostonians probably wish was set literally anywhere else. 90 priests. Is that possible? But don't worry, they're everywhere. In this well-acted, super depressing episode of Dateline NBC that made audiences everywhere say, great, I probably live next to a pedophile priest too. Newsies, might want to avoid these houses. From Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks comes a competently made by the numbers drama about the Cold War that your dad definitely saw and you'll probably catch on a plane sometime. But when you're Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks, even your average movies get nominated for Best Picture by default. Hey, they've both done better than this, but come on, they've earned it. Not nearly enough spies. From the director of your favorite sci-fi movies and also Prometheus, comes the film that's basically cast away in space, which was technically already gravity, which makes this gravity on Mars? So hold on to your sides for what the Golden Globes declared the best comedy of the year. If I die, I need you to check in on my parents. I know that sucks, talking to a couple about their dead son. <laughs> Get it? It's funny because he thinks he's never going to see his family again. Survivor Mars. In the city of uh, Brooklyn, I assume, comes the story of uh, uh, an immigrant lady who falls in love with her, uh, I'll be honest, I haven't seen Brooklyn in either of you. I hear it's great though. You can only see so many movies. Gear up for one of the best movies of the year, which unfortunately almost shares a title with the worst movie of all time. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! That features amazing action and direction, but is so depressing, we're just gonna run all the times they say room in the movie. Room, 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 Starring the hilarious Matt Damon, Leonardo Dat Oscardo, Dom Hanna Gleason, Pelts, a lady driver. Uh, oh, okay, they're, they're telling me to wrap it up. Uh, okay, uh, Barf Vader, uh, Even Tempered Max. Uh, oh man, so many names. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Sabretooth, uh, Lars Ulrich. Um, okay, uh, Turner and Ruskies, uh, Pedophile Priests, uh, Rapists, um, The Evil Banks. Uh, Sir Sirari Reese Ronin. Um, f it. I don't have time for that one. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, and no black people. The Oscars. The Big Short was great, but let's be honest. It wasn't the best movie about five guys trying to stick it to the man this year. Yo, Dre, what up? I got something to say. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Hey, Screen Junkies, want to watch the Oscars with us? Then tune in to our live Oscar watch party right here on YouTube, featuring your favorite Screen Junkies personalities. The stream starts this Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific time as we give our honest take on this year's ceremony. And since everyone in Hollywood is giving stuff away, we're giving you a chance to win a free one-year subscription to Screen Junkies Plus. Check the link in the description below for your chance to take home Screen Junkies Gold. Superhero landing. She's going to do a superhero landing. I love apples and bananas. Weenus. K.
cable guy. I pooped my pants and told no one. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a singe step. <laughs>